Hey, what's up? Welcome back, YouTube, to more MSQ playthrough. We are in Posta and Walker. Um, a little over halfway done with 6.4. Let's go ahead and pop into it. We are on the moon, getting shit done. Now then, to the matter at hand. With the Watcher's assistance, we shall reforge each of Zodiac's brands and use them to erect a barrier capable of repelling Void Scent. Yet, though we expect it to be effective against larger beings on account of its original purpose, there is a chance it will allow lesser Void Scent to slip through. Excuse me. Therefore, we shall require a second line of defense, and I believe the Lawparate's supporters would be suitable for this purpose. Ariane Jemesk, the two of you are have a strong rapport with our lunar allies. I would have you meet with Livingway in Bestaway's borough and produce, provide any assistance they require. I will join you, as a void sent my knowledge may be of use. An excellent idea. In the meantime, the rest of us will see to reforging the brands. I will send word when we have finished. Pray do the same. Bye, Estinian. Oh, they're above. Uh, is there a teleporter? I don't think so. Living way, I trust thou has been well. Oh, I'm not supposed to talk to you. I'm supposed to talk to the living way. There you are. Estrella has apprised me of your present undertaking. I understand that she wishes to deploy our pride and joy. The veritable carrots of our eye, our unrivaled combat supporters, as a precautionary measure in case this void sent containment seal of hers proves lacking. As we speak, my fellows are rounding up what units they can and will bring them to the northeast corner in short order. Please wait there. to have kept you all waiting. Hello there, friends. A new person. Heard there was a bit a of new person. So, we gathered what combat ready supporters we had available. A welcome contribution. Thine initiative never ceaseth to amaze. You're making me blush! Though we have fulfilled the purpose given to us by Heidelin, aiding the people of Atheris remains our greatest joy! So you can count on us, ever and always! Right, so... We originally deployed these supporters to patrol the moon and keep it safe. They've never tussled with Void Scent before, but with sufficient data, they ought to hold their own against the ghastly fiends. Practical, tactical data acquired in the moment, and who better to give the supporters an educational thrashing than the champion of a Atheris? I believe I would make a better instructor. Not only have I fought Void Scent, I am one. Holy shit, what the fuck? Bro, the eyes? What the hell? Oh god. We straight up ran away. Well, don't just stand there, engage! 
No, we're, that's not what we're doing. Oh, that is what we're doing. Forgive our comrades' enthusiasm. May I inquire as to how long the repairs will take? On an ordinary day, I'd say no less than five carrots briskly consumed. But if you were to provide us with encouragement, we just might be able to do it in two. This, I leave to you. Fucking anime sounds. The Lopret's eyes twinkle with anticipation as they await your buoyant extolation. To wit, they yearn for you to rally their spirits. Jolly good, yes, yes. Mm hmm. Here, here. Rally we shall. What? Engage! Engage! Oh, sorry. I was in the midst of... Uh, forgive me. The sight of precision parts is strangely soothing and sleep-inducing, but uh, I'll try to keep moving. Uh. What a marvelous feeling! There's nothing like wild gesticulations of encouragement to fire you up! Mm -hmm. With you cheering me on, I could do not less than my very best. Thank you very, very much. You don't know how uplifting it is to have you encouraging us. I mean, <laughs> us showing the proper technique so we may keep our supporters operating at peak efficiency. My, everyone is high spirits indeed. Thanks to your encouragement, we'll have the supporters up and running again in no time at all. Pray attend to your remaining busy work and leave the deployment of our new and improved voice and slaughterbots to us. Can you hear me? We've just finished restoring the brands. Let us reconvene once you've finished tending to matters there. The culmination of our efforts is nigh. The brands are ready, I presume? Excellent. With the law parades having deployed their supporters, we are ready to proceed. Let us rejoin Estola post haste and prize upon our gate into the void. My thanks for seeing to the supporters. With this, all is in readiness for the ritual. First, I shall give the order to Alphanode and Alice in the Tower of Babel to channel the Aether to the moon. Once we have amassed a sufficient amount of energy, Urianje and I shall begin our incantations to open a void gate. If all goes well, a tear will form in the fabric of reality, at which point you must activate the brands and put in place the containment seal. 
That is all. If there are no questions, then let us begin. Apologies for the wait. The preparations here are finally complete. Excellent. The Tower 2 is activated. But give the word and we will begin channeling the ether. Very well then. Make it so. The moment of truth. Sisters. Oriange, commence your invocations. Tis time to open our gate. to form. Quickly, activate the brands! Success. The gate is open, and the seal appears to be in place. Let's see how well it holds. I dare say the seal doth serve its purpose. Indeed, just this moment, a voice scent emerged from the gate, by which we may safely assume it leads to the 13th. It's incredible, Ishtola. Truly incredible. Oh, what an honor it is to have been part of this historic achievement. A part is an understatement. 
None of this would have been possible without you and yours. Our success has also served to solidify our understanding of cross-rift travel. The Asians rejoined reflections to the source by instigating elemental imbalances. These imbalances weakened the barrier between realities, causing the ether of a reflection to flood the source. But why is it that reflections are predisposed to rejoin the source? Why have they never merged with one another? Thou art suggesting there is a unique property inherent to the source, one responsible for such an outcome. I am. Tis my conclusion that, as the point of origin for the reflections, the source has an innate pull over them. Hydaelyn, I believe, sought to suppress that pull, which is why she was created with the power of light, of stasis. Meanwhile, the power of darkness, of activity, reigns in the void. Hydaelyn's influence would naturally be weaker, and this manifested in the form of planar fissures. Working with this hypothesis, I set my sights upon where the pull was assessed to be strongest, and through our combined efforts, we succeeded in opening a gate to the void. Now, I must stress, it was because we sought the void that we succeeded. Pleased though I am to have my theory proven, the secrets of travel to other reflections still elude us. Even so, in the reality that lies beyond the Eighth Umbral Calamity, there are those who found a way to reach the first. I will not rest until I do the same. One step closer to fulfilling your dream, eh? Just a step. Many more remain to be taken. Which further motivates me to forestall a void sent invasion. So come, let us set forth to find Ashdaya and put an end to Golbez's plot. Climb upon my back. I shall take us to the gate. As we did discuss prior, I shall see the alchemists safely home, then together with the Loperitz, maintain vigil over the gate. May the sisters watch over and keep you safe. What's this going to look like on the other side? This is the moon of the 13th.
It is. Ever since the flood, it has been a sanguinary orb in the sky. No void scent. A rather more subdued reception than I had anticipated. But unsurprising, given how jealously Golbez conceals the location of his domain. Still, we must remain on guard. One of his minions came through the gate, after all, and more may lie in wait. I do not sense my sister. Where could she be? Where? Steady, Vritra. We've barely arrived. Let us explore our surrounds before drawing conclusions. Yes. Thou art right. I shall survey the moon from above. The ground I leave to you all. The surface of the moon is a grim shade of crimson, consequence of the flood of darkness, perhaps? No matter how you strain your eyes, you spy no signs of life. In all directions extends a desolate waste without end. You hold your breath in an attempt to catch the faintest noise. Save for the sounds of your comrades, there is nothing. So far, you have failed to find any clues as to Ajdaya's whereabouts. Perhaps Zero has noticed something you missed. has caught your attention as well. There's some manner of structure below. Worth a look, wouldn't you say? I too sense something here. This pit much resembles the Cradle of Darkness on our moon, where Zodiac was once imprisoned. If this place serves the same function, then a fragment of his power must have been sealed in the depths. Strange, though. When Zodiac perished in the Source, I presumed that every aspect of him was thus unmade, and his power scattered, but it's unmistakable. The darkness that permeates this abyss. Could a trace of him yet remain? Or is it something else? Huh? I hear these 
You were entrusted with Ajdaya's eye, were you not? So this is indeed Golbez's domain. Die. 
Now then, does this great worm intend to remain a captive meal for all eternity, not daring to test her chains? <laughs> speaking of which, speaking of Nidhogg. to start. So, what can you tell us? into this spot near and dear to our enemy's heart? What now? Abyssal Dark. The others have already begun searching for clues. Let us do the same. I'll take charge of this area if you could see to the south. Yeah, that's a big ass arrow. Jesus! Basically, search the whole fucking map. A glint from beneath the rock catches your eye. Oh, that was easy. Did you find something? A memoria. But who's? Speaking of memoria, it's time for a memory. Deserved. Trusting fools. Like you would be heroes. Aye. You do well to keep a close eye on each other. It always ends the same way. A knife in the back. And better to have the handle towards your hand. You'll see. Oh, yes. You will. In death, may your soul find salvation. I can't bring myself to pray for the unrepentant. You're a nobler man than I. 
Come now, we are all shaped by these dark times more than we would care to admit. I choose to believe that. Had these men known peace and plenty, they would not have been consumed by mistrust and avarice. Victims of the Contra Memoria, then. Like so many others. But we will end it. Thank you. I shudder to imagine what might have happened if you hadn't dealt with the Dark Ones. Who is that? Oh, her? She's like you, I hear. Hunts memoriates taken by darkness. Well, well. A kindred spirit. Perhaps we will finally have a new comrade. No. I've no interest in working with others. Much less someone who looks as suspicious as you. Is that so? If there's nothing else, I'll be on my way. Even when we share the same goal, we can't overcome the mistrust. Such is the way of things, the wisdom of our era. Only a precious few memoriates remain who cling to the light. Would that we could have won her over. We'll make do, old friend. We have accomplished much already, and another person may well have been more of a hindrance than help. Now then, our work here is finished. His Majesty has summoned us, so let us not delay. To Baron. Had another vision of the past, did you? And you were there, and you were there. What? I was in it. It's them. The pair I met in that village. Which means the one sealed in this memoria is... So, you have come. You who would oppose our crusade. Tranqui. Is that so? Hmm. From the world before, I dare say. Tis impressive enough that you have managed to retain your mortal form. But to remember your past besides. But that is of no moment. You are the memoria who vanquished my minions. Correct. And what if I am? Then... I would bid you join me... As a child of our world, and slave to the wheel, fight with me for the salvation of all our souls. Fight with you? More like fight as your pawn. It isn't me you want, but my power. And if I don't obey, you'll bind me like you bound that dragon. But no more. 
I refuse to be bound ever again. I fight only for myself and for those in whom I trust. My friends. I see. A pity. It is for the dragon that you have come, yes? When first you appeared, I thought simply to remove a threat to our plan. Never did I imagine that you would reach this place and gift me a golden opportunity. As it has been imprisoned, this dragon has grown feeble and weak, its spirit extinguished. Your coming has served to rekindle her forgotten hope. Her yearning to be free, to return home, that is the key to our deliverance. Darkness is ravaging her. She's becoming a void scent. Rise, O oh Shadow Dragon, and obey. Keep our guests occupied. Before darkness swallowed the world, I fought tirelessly in a war without end. The experience taught me to discern the strong, that dragon, and you.
face me. Rest assured, I need no invitation. Cast Dias. Alright, as soon as we get a Q pop, we'll be in it. Alright, we got a Q pop, y'all. And also, special thanks to Bunny, aka Zaya, aka Buns, for being my healer. Let's go ahead and do this. So he's a dark knight, huh? Knight in black, old Bez. Expect no mercy. To destroy you, I shall bring my all to bear. Come, warriors from beyond the rift. our crusade then come but know that none shall deny us salvation this place shall be your tomb
Oh, damn, we can't even swing. Even my blade. So, this is the limit of my defiance. Are you all right? What's happening? Okay, what's so funny? At last, the moment is at hand. You may have bested me, but not quickly enough. Too late will you look to the chasm. You've won the battle, but I win the war. made manifest once abided in the depths of this abyss until one day it dispersed in a haze of ether in the absence of the great flow that ether has nowhere to return and so it has coalesced giving rise to a mighty void scent now feast Feast upon this dragon and its ardent longing for home with it. No! Oof. He just wanted his sister back. From the convergence of ancient and newborn, an entity without equal shall emerge. One who shall tear down the barrier between worlds. Upon you, who shall deliver us from eternal damnation, I bestow the name of a hero of Eld. Seromus! Awaken! No matter how powerful, a void scent can be sealed in memoria. scales may not hold not against a void scent born of zodiac's ether <sighs>
Bro, she's gone. Not only is she gone, she turned into a void set. Not only she she turned into a void set, she turned into a zodiac. Jesus. All right, that's going to do it for this one, guys. Uh, like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. And I'm anxious to get this ball rolling, so see you very soon.